Maryland if I've been to them. Anything that has a you know flex to it. Yep. It's fine. If you want to use a heavy canvas material, because that would be just too you know thick and heavy or anything that's stiff. So just gonna make a cut. You like that, huh? Again, you know, depending on what you have, you can make a nice square cut. It could be oval. It could be asymmetrical in design. The main thing is whatever you are going with, you, should, you know, just kind of plan out what you're doing. So now I'm just going to move these over to the side. Now, what we were talking about a minute ago was mm -hmm. um, basically cleaning up our edges. Mm -hmm. So you won't have as much cleanup later. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, if you want it more rounder, you just shape, take your finger and drape over the soft up on that cut. Now, since I'm going to be doing something with the edge here, it doesn't really make a difference. So it's purely for my benefit. <laughs> yep, exactly. And uh, depending on what you're going to do with it, I mean, you know, if you want to go ahead and, you know, put some kind of, um, you know, some some mark making and build that up like that, texture. Oh, that's a okay. Um, here's our box that you guys will be using. I had a whole bunch of them here, and unfortunately, they got thrown out by cleanup when we had it here. So, again, we're not supposed to be throwing these out. So, here's our box. And what I'm going to do is just lay that right down in here. Just kind of like this up there. And then, um, what I'm going to do is I can come in here with uh, some slip. I want to put some decorative, you know. Now, when I use this, it will be kind of interesting because, again, this is, a, this is kind of like a porcelain slip right here. It's going to have interesting effects when I actually start, you know, putting a glaze on it. Do we have slip from the red clay? What's that? Do we have slip made from the red clay? No, it's actually, this This is uh, specially made, it's not from any of our uh, clay bodies here. Okay, so, um, that's specifically a finishing slip? Yeah. Okay. So and if I were to like make some slip from the red clay and use it, it wouldn't have the same you effect? You could try that, you could try that. I, I got a... Um, it wouldn't hurt, I mean, I could always glaze over it. <laughs> I mean, I have, um, I use slip from the black clay body. And then, you know, again... Mm -hmm. Let this out just a little bit. I come in here. You know, so you can do, you know, this is just basically from, um, you know, a broom that I just, you know, cut up the pieces. So that's one way of doing it. If you want to go ahead and, you know, if I get a little bit more on here. You know, some very soft patterns. But any of the colored slips in the back we could use? Oh, we got you got pretty much any. I mean, we right. got purple, reds. So go ahead, go blues. crazy with yeah, it. Yeah, go crazy, and don't try, don't mix them up together. If you want right. to mix a certain color up, just take a small amount and mm -hmm. mix them together, and then you know what it, what you don't use, just throw out. But that stuff is very expensive, so you don't want to be wasteful with it. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is take the edges in here. Are those slips 
Mason Mason Stains. Mason Stains. Yep. Okay. Rick makes those all up for us. Rick's the one who got us our clay with the beard. No, that's John. Rick comes in the evening time ah. and he mixes up our uh, glazes for us. Without him, this would be like a gla like a glaze elf. We would ha well, that's what he is basically. <laughs> He's very, he's very important to this lab here. Depending on what you want to do with it, you want to build up an edge in here. You could lay this in. Apply that. Now what I'll do is let it firm up a little bit and then I'll go back in and attach it a little bit. Maybe move it out just a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm going to do another piece. Never shot a video this long. <laughs> so with my phone at least. Just add a little water in here. here. Again, we'll just attach it. As opposed, you can do that instead of just using slip? Um, just showing you guys this. I usually, and since I don't have black, you know, I do have black slip, but it's out there. Mm -hmm. uh, I would, normally I would put down some slip in between here. Okay. So, okay, so. Again, we have plenty of white slip for you guys if you're using your B-Mix. Okay, and then the other end, we'll just rip off a couple more. Okay, attach it again over here. Okay, and then you know any of the fingerprints that I might have gotten on here, I will work out the fingerprints. I don't want those fingerprints to show up. And we'll do one more. Now what's his uh, technique called? Uh, just basically it's um, Using a, a slump mold, I mean, I mean, sling method. Sorry, I'm thinking of the sling other method. Sling method, okay. And what's nice about this is you don't have to have a special mold. This is basically letting the, the weight of the piece mm -hmm. and, the, you know, the amount of tension you have on the cloth will form your piece. Now, what normally what I would do is let this um, firm up. And I will uh, then flip it over with, um, uh, with some of the plastic we have out there, make a ball out of it, then let it rest, the clay rest on top of the ball of plastic. And since this is pretty, let me see if the other piece I have, here it is. Okay, so when this is more firm, I can pull it out of the sling. I am going to flip it around, let it rest on inside on top of the plastic, and then I will add my feet on. And you have noticed my feet are more spread out. They're not placed down in here, because there would be a lot of weight. Could get some work which is going on in there, okay? So you do want to spread your uh, feet out in this area. Okay. okay, and then make sure everything's attached. And the one nice thing is too, when you do, at least when I'm attaching these feet, I then weld it in here, one continuous flow, so it's not going to separate in the firing. So some students do have a problem with the pieces not being totally welded on there, okay? And so what I want you to uh, play around with is, you know, do a square one, do a round one, do a oval one, uh, do one with feet, do one with handles on the side. Um, you can add the, some kind of strip band around it. Maybe not. I've done them without the strip band around it. So think about it. But this is what we're doing. So, so we bring the box and the material? Well, we did have some here, uh, so all you need to do, we do have some boxes, okay. um, but the cloth material, you should probably okay. pick some up, okay? This regular t-shirt is all you really need. Okay. 
and try to get one that doesn't have the you know writing on it because that stiff it has a stiff spot and it could actually affect your uh, no silk screens. Yeah. <laughs> sure. All right. Good luck. <laughs>